This merman is the DCUC versus MOTUC TRU exclusive. Um, that's more acronyms in one sentence than I ever thought I would use. Um, for those not speaking that language, that stands for the DC Universe Classics versus Master of the Universe Classics Toys R Us exclusive. Um, I'm not sure why I'm needing to explain that to you, because I'm sure you're all as big a nerds as I am and understand exactly what those acronyms mean. Um, this merman is the blue variant, as you can see. Um, given away by his blue colour here. Hmm? Um, the regular merman issued through mattycollector.com was green, as was the vintage action figure. Um, the blue variant is a homage to appearances merman made in the vintage mini comics, which were packaged with the vintage action figures. He was in fact blue. Um, Merman does also come with an accessory. It's stored conveniently on Merman's back so that Merman can complete all those important tasks that require two hands. Um, the sword can be removed from the back armour and I'm not sure if the sword is supposed to be maybe coral or if it's one of those weird pointy horns from that weird whale type creature the name of which escapes me if you can um, think of the name of that creature do let me know in the comments below because it will save me a restless night in bed thinking about it um, and if you can think of it I'll give you one Glen bonus point um, which are largely pointless Yes, so the um, sword fits into Merman's right hand there. Besides the sword, Merman does come with this seascape backdrop, which I will mention, um, even though it doesn't really deserve mentioning, because it's largely rubbish. Um, it looks like... Um, a drawing my um, six-year-old niece would do and um, stick to my brother's refrigerator while we all have to gather around it and pretend it's actually good. Um, the reverse side of it is a um, picture of the regular green merman battling Aquaman. Um, cheers Craig for including this with the figure but um, I will largely just be feeding my recycling bin with this. Overall, I am really pleased with Merman here. Um, I've become, the last few years, accustomed to looking at the 2002 series Merman, which, um, unusually for the beefy Master of the Universe figures, is quite slender. Um, so it's quite refreshing to see a beefed up, hulked out, jacked up... Um, I've exhausted all um, euphemisms for muscular here. Um, it's refreshing to see him this way. And these Master of the Universe figures do surprise me in terms of articulation. They um, are more articulated than they look. I know for some collectors, some figures will just never have enough articulation. But um, he does hide away um, under his fur underwear there, his um, penis. No, his um, ball joints there, um, which is quite nice to see, that kind of articulation. His ankles also um, pivot, which is something I do enjoy in an action figure. Big, 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 big thumbs up for Merman here.